morning everyone, it's Sunday. Just started out from Ryan, grabbed some petrol, we're now on the causeway. And we got uh, the bike radar. Hope uh, he's gonna stop, which is cool. Get his dog. He seemed happy to see us. <laughs> so, so what do you think? If you're buying a trail bike, what are you going to get? Are you going to get a two-stroke? Or are you going to get a four-stroke? Is your two-stroke going to have a carb? Or is it going to be a TPI? Let's start with the... Uh, which four stroke to get if you're going to get a four stroke? Do you get a 250, a 350 or a 450? I reckon most people overbike when they start. The mates tell them they need a 450 because they're doing some road work and really you need a 250. 350 is a really popular bike and a 250 is a very underrated bike. You'll go, in my opinion, way quicker on a 250 when it gets rough than you will on a big 450. That's just my opinion, guys. Keep going, Craig. Now this is a corner a lot of trail riders mess up in the wrong gear, sat down wrong gear John if that was wet you'd be done Whoa, even the old man can't get up today here we go we love the truck yard Whoa! It's too dry! It's too dry for, for me! <laughs> you right? It's the skill away, whoa! Craigie, steady, steady! John Boy's a bit tired this morning! Taking it nice and easy, like I suggested he should. So, wise rider. So, what kind of four stroke are you going to buy then? If you decided it's a 250, 250 four stroke, are you going to go Yamaha? Nice bike, 250 WR Yam. I wouldn't get the 450, 61 brake horsepower, no thank you. Or would you go KTM? Great bike that. Suspension could be a bit iffy, but the gas gas you may know has now been bought by KTM, so you're essentially buying a red KTM. So the gas gas are good by. I'm not sure if the gas gas comes with KYB suspension. I could be wrong there. Surely it would be white power if uh, KTM bought it. Right, we're heading to uh, Blue Pipe Lane now. Now I think no, I'm gonna miss Blue Pipe Lane because uh, John's a bit tired. And Blue Pipe Lane is not a lane. To Surely it'll definitely walk you up. <laughs> but no. What is it? See you in a bit guys. If you watch these videos you know I love this lane. The hidden lane we call it. The beauty. And we always cross on the left. Don't we, Craig? Yes.
and this is a great lane this they've actually sort of uh, cleaned it up a little by the foresters putting a road in but it'll go back to where it was I'm sure it was close for ages this uh, Dollywood I call this Dollywood um, yeah and the TRF fought for and managed to get it reopened so the Trail Riders Fellowship in the UK uh, well worth £45 a year if you can afford it and then you won't need to pay people like me oh John's looking good he's livened up a little he, he, he was real stiff this morning but that's normal after a day day on the Burwins just got to remember guys when it's dry it's easy when it's wet it's a different game altogether Bom, 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 bom. So if you have any questions, reference trail riding, anything to do with trail riding, then uh, motorcycle trail riding that is. Then give us Ooh Nicely saved balance in the wrong place yeah any questions just leave us a comment and we'll try and answer for you when we're out on the trails oh. hey see being a good guide I know that that gate is always shut so you should leave them as you find them except if you know you should be closed at all times time on the ground guys <laughs> that's what you need right I'll go and catch them up I hope you went that way. That gate's normally closed. Lift it up a little bit. Lift it up a little bit. <laughs> That's it. John loves a bit of water.
And I love a closed gate. How am I going to get over here without getting too wet? Ooh. Could have used the bridge, but he decided to get wet feet instead. Oops. There we go. So here we are, we're at the bomb hole. Now when I get to the bomb hole, yeah, I might be going slightly fast, but I need to hit it in second gear. So there's several ways I can do it. One is I can get myself in second gear before I start, but that's too slow. The second way is I go all the way down the gearbox to first and then up to second. And that again is very slow. The way I do it, I go bang it up to six, count four down, that's how we do it. Woo. You've got to learn to know when to sit down, John. And that was a sit downer. Yeah, you build your confidence and then you stand. Go. It's the boot time. Oh, that didn't look very nice. Now, John's looking quite tired, so we'll leave him to his own devices. <laughs> Breaks you fucking Now it's possible to do this flat out, top well when I say flat out I mean top gear, six gear. That's what I'm in now, six gear. Craig's going a little bit slow. So Craig has been here for two days, he now wants to move to Wales. And who could blame him, eh? Dirt bikes, dirt, uh, green lanes everywhere. So, yeah, I think that would be a good move. Yeah, it looks nice and easy. But when we go up here, to the top, to the top, the blokes are huffing and puffing, steam out coming out the goggles. Going right. So we've done the blue pipe, so this has to be the clay pipe. Brings you up. Oh, yeah. Hey, nice little jump. He's really getting the feel now, Craig is. Oh man, I do love my job. I'm out Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday next week with the bike hires. None of them have really ridden off road, so it'll be a different pace of a day, days. 
initially, well, introducing those that have never ridden off road to a bit of trail riding. You never know, they may come back on their own bike, and then that will be my mission completed. Sweet! Up the gears, going downhill. So now I'm in six, here we go. Ooh, I need to scrub it off down two gears to the brook. That's it. Little jump at the top, off this bit. And another jump. And we all know on the truck yard that Clive over here in this house doesn't like your blasting, so he's put some little signs here for us. And why wouldn't he? Because it is his land after all. He did put a gate up there, but then we started behaving ourselves and uh, he took it down. So that's it guys, what do you think? Brilliant, awesome, yeah. awesome, awesome, two days of 